Back in October, we witnessed an annular solar eclipse, which created the Ring of Fire. And the path of annularity moved through cities like San Antonio, Kerrville, Uvalde, and Corpus Christi. Now remember, the annular eclipse is one of three different types. There's also a partial eclipse and a total solar eclipse. And as a matter of fact, one is headed our way very, very soon. So strap in, let's explore the science behind the solar eclipse. When you look into the night sky, what do you see? Stars, planets, comets. It makes you think how large everything is and how small we really are. And on Earth, we view these stars every single night. Something else we see is the moon that orbits our planet. Some planets like Jupiter, according to NASA, have over 80 moons. While we only have one, our moon can display some spectacular sights. From different moon phases to eclipses, these astronomical phenomena draw millions to watch. And some are rare to see, based on time, location, and the positioning of these celestial objects. Back in October, you may remember an annular eclipse was visible across numerous states. And coming up on April 8th, 2024, will be the main event, a total solar eclipse. Let's explain. An eclipse is when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth, allowing for a shadow to reach the earth's surface, leaving some in darkness as the shadow moves across the planet. Now, the main distinction is position. Remember, the moon's orbit around the earth isn't a perfect circle, nor is the earth's orbit around the sun. It's more of an ellipse or an oval shape. Because of this, it causes the moon to push and pull during different phases. One position is called apogee, when the moon is farther and smaller in the sky. The second position is perigee, when it's closer and larger. But because of this oval orbit and its slight tilt, we don't see an eclipse every month. It rarely lines up perfectly. The moon is either too high or too low relative to Earth to block the sun. So it takes a rare moment when the moon's orbit lines up exactly for the Earth to witness an eclipse. When it's farther away, typically, the moon doesn't fully cover the sun, leading to an annular eclipse. When it's annular, the shadow the moon creates on Earth is a very small area when projected onto the surface. The penumbra is the larger part of the shadow that is lighter than the center, where the umbra is the darker part of the shadow, which again is a very small area. While the penumbra can stretch hundreds of miles across continents, the umbra, the darkest part of the shadow, typically will have a width of around 90 miles, which means only some are able to see totality or annularity depending on the type of eclipse. What's gonna happen is the moon's gonna pass in between the Earth and the sun, right? And so if the moon is farther away from the Earth, it's almost like the nickel passing in front of the quarter. It won't cover the entire quarter. However, when the moon is closer to the Earth on its orbit, it's gonna be like the quarter covering the nickel from our view, and that's why we will completely total eclipse it in April of 24. Annular eclipse it in October, total eclipse it in April. So an annular eclipse doesn't fully cover the sun, creating the ring of fire, whereas a total eclipse completely blocks out the face of the sun, creating a dark silhouette, and the outer light you see is the solar corona, the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere. The corona is said to be hotter than the sun's actual surface, full of heat, plasma, and turbulent solar winds. Something you don't see every day, which is why many travel around the globe to witness this celestial event. Some of which are eclipse chasers, including Dr. Kate Russo. I travel around the world to see total solar eclipses. Anywhere there is a total solar eclipse, I am there. So I, that's, that's what I do in my spare time, that's my life. That's the scaffold of my life for now, in the future, until I cannot chase anymore. Kate has traveled the world, witnessing eclipses in France, Mongolia, Madagascar, and many more. Uh, 13 total solar eclipses, and that's over a period of about 24 years now. So you guys are just so lucky that you actually are in the crossroads of these two eclipses. And as she travels around the world, she holds workshops, seminars, and presentations 
preparing the community for the solar eclipse. And when I visit now, it's not just going as a tourist, I go with the intention of working within these communities, um, helping people understand, working with the Chambers of Commerce, tourism industries, uh, doing events, talking to general everybody, just to say, hey, this is something that's coming. Make sure to watch the eclipse safely. All it takes is a split second with direct sunlight to cause damage to your vision. Be sure to look through safe solar viewing glasses. But whenever you're directly looking at the sun, you must use your solar filters. Yes, and get them early because you need to make sure that they're, they're safe, they're reliable, they're, they're not damaged. Um, so it's really important that you get them. So the best way to view the eclipse is with eclipse glasses. You, you cannot look at the sun with your naked eye. You cannot look at this eclipse with sunglasses. You need these kind of glasses. And so when you put these on, you can look right up at it. Like right now, I can't see anything. But when you're looking at an eclipse, you're going to see the entire thing safely with these glasses on. How do they look? Looking good, Bill. So this solar eclipse will start off on the west coast of Mexico on April 8th, 2024. It'll move into Texas during the early afternoon, passing over cities like Del Rio, San Antonio, Kerrville, all the way up to Dallas and Fort Worth. The moon's shadow will move fast with an estimated speed of 1600 miles per hour. This will move across Texas between 1.30 and 1.45 in the afternoon. Also, you may be in direct sunlight for several hours, so wear a hat, sunscreen, and protective clothing to further help prevent skin damage. So grab your solar eclipse glasses and find a good seat because the next total solar eclipse won't be visible until 2044, 20 years down the line. For more information about the event, the celestial event, head to kens5.com eclipse. For now, I'm meteorologist Ryan Shoptop.